Mousy that van! We're Marion and Chris. In 2018, we quit the nine to five and bought Trudy, our camper van. We are currently on an adventure to drive the circumference of the world. Chris is just cooking me nachos for tea. <laughs> it's got a bit nuts. But look what's happened outside. It's literally gone wild outside. Look at that. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. There's sand coming in the, in the back window. It's absolutely, I don't know if you can see out there, but there is like a dust storm brewing up. Good morning. Well, after that crazy dust storm we had last night, it's all in the van. We only had the windows open for a short while. But look how dusty that is. And it's literally like everywhere. Oh my goodness. It's really. It is everywhere. It is everywhere. There you go. Good job we closed the windows quickly, wasn't it? Today, I'm gonna make one of our favorite Turkish breakfast dishes here in the van, minimum. Peppers, onions, tomatoes, and eggs. If you've been following us for a while, you'll know that we had lots of our stuff stolen off the ship whilst we were shipping from the UK to America including my chef's knives. And the only one they left me was this cheap blunt knife. And for anyone that does the cooking out there, you'll know how frustrating it is to try and cook with a knife that doesn't cut properly. And he's very fussy about his knives. So how excited was I when Kami Koto sent me a set of their chef's knives? It's well known that since ancient times, the best blades originate from Japan. You've all heard the stories of the samurai warriors, right? As somebody with both a catering and Japanese martial art background, I know that these traditions have been passed down through the generations, and Japan still makes the best blades even today. The Kamikoto knives come with a certificate of authenticity, confirming that the blades were crafted from high quality Japanese steel and were made using their traditional 19 step method, which means they are beautifully sharp and perfectly balanced. And a good test is always to see how easily they slice through tomatoes, which is gonna make my making minimum for breakfast today a lot easier. We can't keep a lot of stuff in Trudy, as you know, but a set of these three knives is gonna see to all of my cooking needs. So if you wanna grab yourself a set of these amazing Kamikoto knives, simply click the link in the description below. Happy slicing. There you go, minimum served with some fresh bread. Oh, lovely. Mm. <laughs> well, we didn't like that much, did we? There's nothing left. You ready to hit the road? So our time is coming to an end here uh, in Moab. This is where we've been parked up uh, for the last few days. It's BLM land, uh, Bureau of Land Management, just north of Moab. And uh, it's been great, there's been a few vans. It gets quite busy here at the weekend, but it's very good uh, facilities. They've got bins here and toilets here. Pretty good park up. So today we're heading down to Monticello, Monticello, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. If you're Italian, it's Monticello. <laughs> Ciao bella. And uh, we're gonna be meeting up with a couple of friends who you may recognize. But before we go, we're gonna just check. We've got some spare fuel filters and oil filters under the bed, but we've just suddenly thought, can we still get more spares here in the States? Because there are no Fiat's here. There's no old Fiat's here. And every garage we've been to, they're like, you won't get spares for your car here. So we're gonna lift the bed, see if the specs on the oil filters, we can buy them here. If not, we'll have to come up with a plan B. <laughs> so it's never quite as easy as you think. 
trying to get under the bed. Really? We got half the mattress off. <laughs> there's, there's a little container here that we just put stuff we don't normally use, like snow chains and stuff that we just don't have to get to very often, what? like oil filters. Okay, we found them. So we have a spare oil and fuel filter, but we might need more than that. So we're going to have a look online. You're right back there, love. I survived. <laughs> You're wedged behind the mattress. Okay, time to hit the road. We've got a few er errands to do in town before we leave and head south to Monticello. You ready? Monticello. <laughs> Let's go. I just have to stop and show you this on the way out. So we parked up here, um, as I said, since we've been in Moab, and they've put new signs up. Look, you can still see the uh, the red flag there. So the BLM land is obviously no longer BLM land. Um, they put them up this morning, so I guess we're leaving at just the right time for us boondockers. <laughs> Okay, first stop, fill up with water. You'll find these uh, these taps at a lot of the petrol stations around here. Let's get filling. And then whilst we're here, I'll take advantage because they all have these windscreen washers and the windscreen after that dust storm is just super dusty. Okay, so we've come down to O'Reilly Auto Parts here in Moab and we're going to see if they can get or they have in stock spare oil and diesel filters to save us using our spares. After spending ages in O'Reilly's, a very helpful gentleman, we think we found an oil filter from another store which will be available tomorrow. We had no luck with the fuel filter, but we do have a spare, so we're all good. So now we're going to do the drive about an hour south to Monticello? Monticello. Monticello. I think it's Monticello. For those of you that were wondering, why didn't we drive that crazy road we saw in Canyonlands National Park? The reason is because we can't get the parts here in the US for Trudy. And with 14,000 miles at least to still drive here in the States and Canada, we just figured vehicle preservation and we should really look after, we should look after Trudy because she's doing a good job without us pushing her to the limits. And if you remember what, what happened last time we went to uh, Georgia down those crazy roads, we put a whole Trudy Hall tank. So no more damage to Trudy. <laughs> How you doing? Good. Oh, oh, amazing. Oh, so good to cry. see you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, How you doing, man? Good to see you, man. I just said to Chris, uh, Chris it's like seeing the kids. How are you? It feels like we're... Oh, are you good? Oh, yeah, yeah we're good. good. Amazing. Good. You recognize them? Brittany and Drew from Hello. Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. Oh, We've been online American friends kids. for ages, <laughs> but we just haven't met them in person we're yet. We're acquainted with our mom and dad from Britain. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So Mom and dad yeah. We did, yeah, we oh. we hung out uh, with them. And we Amazing. Know why you're so cool because your parents are just Aww. fabulous. After far too much chatting, we finally pulled ourselves into the vehicles because we are following Brittany and Drew uh, to go and pick up some packages. They very kindly let us use their address, and then we're going to go and find somewhere cool to park up and uh, hang out tonight. Where are they taking us? Do you know, I don't really care because I'm happy to go anywhere with them because they, they are, are lovely. so lovely. So lovely. Sometimes you see people and follow them online and then you meet them and you go, hmm, 
these guys are as lovely as they seem on their videos. They really are. We wanted to help out however we could on the road, so if that meant getting your mail shipped here, you're sticking amazing. it in there. You are container. a rock star. You guys are rock stars. No, you're a rock star. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That sounds like Trudy's door. She started to creak. Around. Hopefully they're not all for us. No, I'm just gonna throw mine there. Okay, packages collected. All good. It's so handy having an address that we can send to. So they're going to take us to one of their park ups that they know in this area. How cool. You cannot beat local knowledge. I can be your block boy. <laughs> Are we level? <laughs> I gotta get out the block. I gotta get out some blocks too. <laughs> We're not level at all. Look at that. That's what you need. Okay, and if you don't have chocks, you make do with lumps of wood. Right. So we're, we're, we're sat out, we've just had dinner. We're just relaxing. We're in the woods. It's Woo! very dark. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> and what's what's funny? Why do you, Marianne's got a candle. I've got like vanilla. <laughs> Brittany's got a jar of yeah, that hot sauce. sauce. Oh, I, I dare you. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, this is, is so much fun. Oh my God, it's we're in Trudy <laughs> and there's a mouse. What, what are we going to do? It's in the Get the cheese out. You guys have a mouse in your van? <laughs> What kind of place do you live in? <laughs> Hold on, he came, he back. He came back out. How did he get in here? Do you think it came Open in on the floor? Yeah. I think he was in Chris's trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Where is okay, it? If you pull him out by his tail, I will we'll give you 10 bucks. Tail. I'm not going to pull him out by his tail because his tail will fall off. Oh, he might be in that cupboard because the, the pipe goes that way. Okay, there are a million places he could have gone. That was a big mouse. Chris, is that a British mouse or American mouse? <laughs> I don't know. Or a Turkish mouse. <laughs> oh my God. Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he ran all the way over here. something out of the corner of the mouse. My okay, mouse the mouse that? is under the bed somewhere. The mouse is in the house. <laughs> yep. And he's staying there, I think. At least for now. We, we're going to leave him in Oreo. I think we should van swap tonight, Brittany. <laughs> Sorry, no. no Occupado over there. <laughs> How am I going to sleep knowing there's a mouse under the bed? I'm going to wait up in here like... She's going to put this into perspective. <laughs> we're up. It's midnight and we're looking for a friggin' mouse in the van. I don't know how this is even possible. And every once in a while... I it... had a beautiful home, a good job. How is this happening? <laughs> and it just keeps coming out every once in a while and then running under the floor again. It runs, it runs over the bed in the night. So, because we figured the mouse wants to get out, we've left the door open a bit and we've carabined it here so nobody can open the door. But there is a weather warning for wind tonight, so I'm not sure it's a, it's a good idea. Are we nuts? What are we doing? Oh, I just love my life. <sighs> I wasn't expecting to film a mouse in the van tonight. I'm so going to jump if it runs over my feet again. So we had a good night's sleep here last night. Actually, I, that's a lie. I didn't have a good night's sleep because the whole night I was thinking of the mouse in the van. But it's a very beautiful spot. And the wind blew our mat. Where is it? No way. <laughs> Look how far our mat is. There's a little mouse right there. That's yeah, a baby. That's much smaller. That is a baby. He's probably looking for his mum that's in my van. So Brittany's warming the little mouse that we found because it's too cold. Oh, it's... And it's a baby. He is precious. Oh, you're going to have a pet mouse in the van. Cool <laughs> I brought out Brittany's slipper. We'll give him a house for the evening. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna take him in the van? <laughs> That's so funny. You're gonna have a whole family oh, of mice. I will. I'll, I'll dedicate my slipper. <laughs> oh, look at him! Oh, honestly, that is the cutest thing ever. We love you. 
I think you've got a new roommate. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I can't wait. Brittany's just put the little mouse in her slipper in the van. And I know that in about half an hour, there's going to be a scream going, oh my God, <laughs> the mouse isn't in the slipper anymore. <laughs> So this is our bit of wood from the back that we use uh, just to lock everything in the back. And it's warped a bit, so I've left it overnight with a couple of rocks on it, just to try and flatten it out a little bit more. You do feel a little bit like the wild woman of Borneo in the forest today. <laughs> so we had so much fun in the dark last night <laughs> that we never lit the firewood we collected. We just had so many stories to share. So we're having a breakfast coffee fire warming moment is that right yeah, absolutely we got flames it's going good <laughs> it should be good now yep we done it it's a good job couldn't have done it without you <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like it's actually gonna rain i think but we'll be nice and warm for our morning cup of coffee yeah, <laughs> it was cold needed. wasn't it it's what we needed so we're staying at this campsite um near monte cello up in the hills they got like little barbecue areas they got a fire pit this is a national forest campsite and there's probably about 15 sites in here and it was so peaceful in here yeah it's really really quiet there's, i think there's only one or two other vans right yeah. at the far end and that's where we slept last night in the trees with the mice with the mice <laughs> should we do a turkish pour there you go <laughs> <laughs> He's got this coffee Cheers. there. Cheers. Got my cuppa. <laughs> Goodness, yeah. Brittany's come out. I thought she's hanging the mouse upside down. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a turtle. Oh. Where did you get that? Well, I actually made it for Drew for Christmas. Um, the turtle is from Costa Rica because we got engaged on Isla Tortuga, yeah. the island are you, of Are you turtles. okay with her giving yeah. me no, your you gift? No, you can't have. Oh, no. Please, no. we would love for you to, yeah, have to hang it. it and... Oh, yes. that's beautiful. Oh, it's... I'm going to cry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making my wife cry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> lovely, guys. Love, and you can take it with you everywhere you go. <laughs> Mom, did you hear that? I did. Chip, chip, chip. He's calling his mum. He's feeling much better, and we just made him a home. <gasps> he, Are you going to put him in his home? He's chirping. Squeak. He's squeaking his mum. Yeah. He's calling his mum. There you go. And there he's in the sun. He's in the sun. That will biodegrade, and his mum will come and find him, but he's nice and warm in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> so these guys are giving us one of their Mr. and Mrs. Adventure oh, stickers. You'll have Thank a you. little portrait of us. <laughs> and we in want that. Home. So stick it on the van there, Brittany. Boom. Perfect. Oh, look there. at that. She's done that. Amazing. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Yay, high five. He's taking us with you. <laughs> So we've had so much fun with these guys. So for those of you that don't know them, I know we said when we met, but it's Drew and Brittany from Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. We've been following these guys way back when they were traveling Europe. They came over and bought Howl of the Van in <laughs> Europe, and uh, they went round Europe, Morocco. Now they've been exploring the States and did a Baja series and uh, it, we finally met them because we've been uh, we've been messaging for ages it's been so nice <laughs> i think you guys brought the fun <laughs> <laughs> and why did you put that mouse in my van <laughs> <laughs> why do you make us adopt the mouse on us? <laughs> <laughs> this this story just goes more and more crazy and right we have not laughed so much for ages uh. we've laughed we've cried we've hugged it's just been such a serendipitous meet Aww. for them to be here for us to arrive it's just been perfect so yeah. thank you so much Aww. thanks guys it's been a but, long time coming yeah yeah but i can't believe how tall your van is yes, because is. like look i was looking at your videos thinking that you both must be really short <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I am. I mean, have, yeah, but I mean, we if you have one foot difference in height between us. So, really? like, yeah, look, film me. Yeah. I'm six foot three. You should stand next to Chris. Yo, yeah, stand I'm six next to Chris. Three. I don't have Come shoes on. on. We'll do it. Look, 
<laughs> I'm not even five feet. Tall. Little and large. <laughs> I think if you put her on your shoulders, you might equal the you height You might just advantage. Yeah. I know. It's almost nine feet or nine. Yeah, nine and a half feet. Nine and a half. Wow. We need it's that amazing. Gear. Yeah, this is a big van, and honestly, being such a small girl living in this is my house, trying to open my front door all the time, I'm like <laughs> throwing all my body weight. And the height of the step as yes. well for you. Well, we, we are on blocks. It's a good step. job you're flexible, Brittany. <laughs> that friend. yoga's paying off. <laughs> my house is a jungle gym. Who tied the knot? Well, <laughs> she trusts me. <laughs> I've always said I wanted to park up next to the ocean so I could in swing clear? into the sea. In the and you did. In the oh my goodness. Oh my goodness me. This is how I get taller. I try to reach your height. Wow. Do you want to yeah. try and do that, love? No, I, 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 I can't do it. Don't make me do it. <laughs> You'd be, we'd be in hospital if we tried yeah, to do that. And this, this van is amazing. And you kitted all of this van out, didn't you? Yeah, we spent six months building her from scratch. Basically, it was a, a shell, all of steel. We insulated her. Did it's all the fantastic. systems in it and then did this amazing woodwork to it. All of the wood has been repurposed in yeah. this van. And I love the fact that you've got a proper cooker for your pizza night. We have to. That you do. Yes. The other thing I wanted to say was that our European van, which we bought in, we bought it in England, but we yeah, were in a suburb of London called Sitka. Yes. Oh, Sitka. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. yeah. It in Gumtree back in 2016. No and right here is the license plate of the Howler. X-Men. Uh, yep. Uh, and so many How did you get an X-Men plate? You is know, that just chance? Yes. Total chance. It was. My favorite part was being in a car park and people walk by and you could hear them snicker and go, the X-Men are in there. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. And I love all your spice jars here. Look, screwed onto the wall. Yeah. I had my doubts that they might fall off on some of our adventures, but, but not a single one has ever. And they're magnetic. That's really good. Yeah. But a lot of the different design elements in here were inspired by the Howler, like the hob. This futon here was where our bed was, basically in the layout of I our remember. European van, and we're like, it's you always get the best view with the slider. Yeah, yeah that's true. So it's good for guests anyway. It still pulls out into a futon. And I'm also jealous. Can you just show me your fridge freezer? Oh, of course. Compared to the small one we have in Trudy. This is a 67 liter. Look at that. <laughs> that is so impressive. Fridge freezer. Fridge. And I make smoothies nearly every day. Oh, and this was for our bonfire last night, right? No. That's, the, that's the beer one. Yeah, these might be frozen solid. Two Watch of my this. favorite things in your van are the this worktop with yeah. the acrylic. This is actually avocado wood that oh, we put wow. resin to fill the channels. Oh, and resin. Right here was where they injected an avocado tree with insecticide for the bugs. Yeah. So oh, really? To fill it with this really cool color. Yeah, so it's like the funky little. That's so amazing. Cool. And the other part that I love is your porthole and last night yeah. when we were sat outside with the light inside it looked like there was a moon it a did. purple moon it glass. really did yeah a purple light did yeah it looked like that yeah one of and our favorite was... features is to have purified filtered water yes. oh yeah so that way we can fill up one main system in our van that's about 50 gallons of water yeah and we can last on that for about a week both have two showers because yeah. we didn't mention yet there's a shower where you're standing yes this is our shower in a drawer it's like the tardis isn't it <laughs> well it was a utility tub that we repurposed the hooks are all around our that's amazing that's genius. you want to <laughs> step in there Marianne? Uh, no because my and then you got the shower the tray there you just empty it afterwards yep. oh it's got a drain it's got a in it drain out to the what? bottom this is our compost toilet fantastic we had a urine separator which is sparkly pink custom nice. made and shipped from england <laughs> amazing <laughs> so we could have a british loo oh, good nice. for you this is the bathroom mirror the pantry i love it i love it things. you got everything covered the only thing that we would change about the layout is of our go van on is the fact that we completely forgot about the fact that our futon was going to have four inch cushions on it and so uh, when, when we sit on our couch i'm used to my feet never touching the floor yeah. when i sit on anything yeah. but drew's feet don't touch the floor when we sit on our couch but so if, remember that the cushions are going to raise so, yeah this is why i have a back roller lift up your feet oh, and relax it's to put your there to you put go. your feet under there you go there you go or or if you want to really sit back and relax. Oh, you can throw your, your feet, feet up. up there. 
<laughs> okay, guys, I'm moving in. He's behind. Oh, he's doing so well. Oh my God. See? Look at the difference compared to the little around. Are you happy, Brittany? I'm so happy. Look at him. He's, he's running really fast. Okay, oh. so we can look in the garage without squashing the mouse. Absolutely. We are awesome. Can I just say that? Team giving life. Yes. High five adventure <laughs> mouse. High five. There's a queen size mattress up here and the whole space below it is all storage for our adventure gear. So. And you have a lot of adventure. Well, I've seen you, you on bicycles and paddle boards and you got it all you going on. For, you ready for this? They Hold do on. not call you Mr. and Mrs. Adventure for nothing. <laughs> you okay. Really, you really got to earn that name. Yeah, it's got me in trouble a time or two. You ready for this? <laughs> oh my goodness. These are the bicycles. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. They've actually got this whole pull out system that goes all the way back so they don't have to climb in. And you've got a paddle board as well. Yeah, so you? there's a paddle board in this big bag right here. <laughs> I'm so kite, jealous. My kite surfing equipment kite up surfing. there. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Here is the deck. And so a lot of times we'll end up having sunset meals out here. 450 watts of solar up here. And these are our max tracks that have got us out of trouble a time or two. You want a van swap for a while? <laughs> so when we were in Roswell, we bought Bob. The bobbing Bob head, the head. <laughs> Bob the bob head, and uh, Drew's got some tape, so you're going to do the honors of sticking. Here. You're sticking Bob on, but Bob, the bobbing Bob head. The head. We I need to make sure he can hold on for another fourteen thousand miles. Yeah, he's got a lot of bumps to go over. <laughs> here we go. We got our tape on here. Okay. Is this the spot? I reckon somewhere, somewhere here's the spot. All right. There we oh, go. So handsome. <laughs> Look at that. All right, he's on tight. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun thank you very much You're welcome guys it has been absolutely amazing we're coming in for more uh, hugs group hug here. it's thank been you. absolutely fantastic hanging out with these guys you should definitely check out their channel oh we're gonna miss you guys we are we're gonna come and find you somewhere in the world we will or, we will or we're gonna come find you in <laughs> okay yes. yeah it's a date we hope you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure you join us on the next one when we head west towards the coast and drive America's loneliest road. And we will see you next time.